Tough times build tough people. The adversity, the challenges, the success that we want in our life, it comes from it. It comes from that adversity. It comes from the scrapes. It comes from the bruises. It comes from the moments where you said to yourself that you didn't think that you were going to make it just for you to make it through the situation and not even realize that you just overcame that. It comes from that. That just because shit gets hard, like just because things don't go your way doesn't mean that you quit. You quitting is a contradiction to your very existence because you weren't born a quitter. In 2014, I was executing a training exercise with my team. A simple exercise that we had all done. And a part of that exercise is the completion of an obstacle course. Now, like I said, we had all done this before. So as we traversed through the obstacle course and got to the very end, there was only one thing that we needed to do. And that was just climb a rope. Now, just like what I said, we had all done this before. So a simple task as climbing a rope would be nothing for us. I approached the rope and began to climb like I don't know what happened. I don't know if the ropes were new, I don't know if I was just fatigued, but for some reason as I got halfway up there I came back down. Thinking nothing of it, I shook my arms out and began to climb again. And just like last time, I got halfway up there and for some reason I came back down again. Now at this point now I'm starting to think like what's going on with the situation? Is my pack too heavy? Is my boots too tight? Am I just too fatigued? So I grabbed the rope and I climbed halfway up there again. And next thing you know, I come crashing down. As I continue to keep climbing this rope and as I continue to keep crashing back down, the rest of my team has already finished. And now everybody is staring at me. Stuck with a simple situation, do I continue to keep climbing or do I walk away from this situation? So I climb again. And each time that I climb, my hands, they get tight. Each time that I climb, my hands, they get, they get blistered. Each time that I climb, I come crashing back down. At this moment right now, I realize that life is about to teach me a big lesson. That if I quit right now, I will betray the faith that my team has in me. That if I quit right now, I will burden the next man with my troubles, with my failure, with my struggle. At this moment right now, if I decide to quit, I will unknowingly adopt the mindset of a quitter. What people don't realize is that each time that you quit, you invite the idea of quitting to the table. That every time that something gets hard, that spark, that itch, that urge of quitting comes out. And every action that you take on that idea, you know, every time that you decide to quit that urge, it becomes easier to scratch. But each time that you face some type of obstacle in your path, that urge, that itch, that gnawing feeling of quitting, it comes out becomes easier to use and I don't know who needs to hear this but you weren't born a quitter you were the sperm that made it to the egg and when your mother brought you into this world you weren't a quitter yet even as a child I know you weren't a quitter then because as you learn to walk you will fall on your face and you will pick yourself back up and you will continue to keep moving forward you weren't a quitter yet people become quitters when they stop believing in themselves they stop believing in themselves and they start believing in what other people think of them. They stop believing in the words that they say to themselves and they start believing in the words that others say for them. So when they're faced with a situation that they can't get over and they ain't got nobody else cheering for them, they start to come back and start to quit. Each time that you quit, you betray yourself. Each time that you quit, you betray the faith that others have in you. Each time that you quit, you betray the opportunity that life has given you. And at the end, you're left with maybe ifs and tries. And for those who are foolishly enough to put their trust in you, you betray that as well. And when faced with that very existence, like faced with that possibility that I could be the one that could let somebody down, like I could be the one who has to put the load on somebody else's back because I am too weak to be able to carry it, I grab the rope and I climb. And I continue to climb despite how bad my hands hurt. I continue to climb despite how my forearms locked up. I continue to climb despite how many times I wanted to walk away from the situation. I just knew that there was a possibility that if I quit right now, I'm gonna quit when someone needs me the most. So I stayed. And for two hours, I stayed. And I continued to climb until I completed that exercise. Because one thing that I have realized is that 
it's, it's bigger than me. It's bigger than me. That the people to my left and my right, they depend on me to carry my load. They depend on me to carry my task. They depend on me to complete my half of the job. And if I quit right now, I'm gonna forever be a quitter. I know we've heard it before. Tough times build tough people. Hard times build hard people. However you wanna spin it, one thing is for certain is that adversity, adversity will never be in your favor. Adversity is supposed to test you. Adversity, adversity is supposed to test the things that you should have been preparing for. So when you encounter a situation that's not in your favor, this is a test for you. This is the moment where you finally put the skills that you have been honing the talents that you've been working towards, the hard work that you have been, been putting the time into, that is what the adversity is for. And if you are able to overcome it, you come out a better version. It's never supposed to be in your favor. And the sad part is, is that a lot of us, we will spend our lives avoiding adversity because it's hard. We will spend our time trying to avoid the adverse situation because we just don't like the way that it fits on us right now. We don't like the way that it's looking right now. We don't like how it's about to go right now because we know deep down that we're not ready for it. But I'll be the first one to tell you that you will never be successful. You will never be successful if you spend your time avoiding adversity. If every time that you're faced with an obstacle, if you're, every time that you're faced with some type of challenge and you avoid it, you can't get mad at the fact that you're not successful. You can't get mad at the fact that you know you're not a better version of yourself. You can't get mad at the fact that everyone else around you is moving forward in their careers, in their life, just becoming a better version. You can't get mad at them for that. Because every time that life gives you a lesson, you, you, you showing up absent. You don't want to take the test that life is trying to give you. You just want to put in the time, but then when it's time to test out, you don't want to work towards that. Adversity ain't supposed to be in your favor. You ever seen somebody hard? And as soon as they face with a situation, they come out soft. Like you ever seen somebody come out different than how they went in? That's because the adversity beat them. And because the adversity beat them, they, they don't want to bounce back. They don't want to move forward. Adversity builds resiliency. And I don't think a lot of people understand is that resiliency is the thing after the adversity. You can't say that you bounce back from a situation if you're not moving forward. You can't say that you came from rock bottom if you're still at rock bottom because you're afraid to move forward because you know life going to knock you back down again. Let me rephrase that. You're afraid that life will knock you back down again. When you see somebody celebrating, it's, it's because of the things that they overcame. That's why they're able to celebrate. I'm blessed to say that the leader that I am today, the man that I am today, the Marine that I am today, that came from adversity. That came from the trials and tribulations. That came from the obstacles that are not in my faith. So when it storms, I'm not worried. You ever seen somebody in the midst of chaos and they're calm? That's because they're used to it. They've overcame so many obstacles in their, that were never in their favor that when something doesn't go wrong, they don't freak out, they don't trip. Adversity builds us for the version that we want to become. If you want to become a better version of yourself, you have to seek out challenges. You have to seek out obstacles. You have to be prepared to test yourself because if you're not, you will never become the version of yourself that you're supposed to be.